Hi guys! Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Lane's Content. And for today's video, we are going to talk about a scholarship. Specifically, DOST JLSS Scholarship. So, DOST JLSS, JLSS stands for Junior Level Science Scholarships. So, this scholarship is different from DOST undergraduates. So, for your information lang, no? DOST undergraduate is scholarship from DOST wherein those who can apply are those who are incoming first year college. But for DOST JLSS, there is still a scholarship from DOST for incoming third year college students. Therefore, para kanino ang DOST JLSS? DOST JLSS is for the incoming third year students or the currently second year college students. During the pandemic, post-pandemic, or during the pandemic is when I first applied for the DOST but for undergraduate scholarship. So, DOST undergraduate and DOST JLS scholarship is therefore two different scholarships as you know by now. However, wala kami exam during that time and so whatever the requirements that we have passed, and yun lang yung basis nila for the scholarship. But for now, since we are already done with the pandemic and face-to-face -face classes and examinations continued, so the DOST scholarships are now having their examinations. To cut the story short, I did not pass the DOST undergraduates, but there's still a hope for you guys because DOST have still a scholarship for third year students, specifically second year students incoming third year in their college years. If you did not pass like me for DOST undergraduate, there's still a hope for you and you can still apply for DOST JLSS scholarships. Mag apply na kayo. <laughs> Make sure that you keep on watching this video until the end because I will have my personal tips for you when applying this DOST JLSS. So now, let's go over as to who can apply for this scholarship. The DOST JLS scholarship first must be a regular second year college student. So his or her status in college is regular and he or she is of second year college. And of course, there are requirements such as that the courses of that student is a DOST SDI priority courses. Meaning to say, this, there are list of courses provided by the website wherein the courses are priority by the DOST. For example, if you are BS Biology like me, therefore your course is under the priority courses. If your course is of Engineering, therefore your course is under priority courses. However, there are more lists than this than the obvious courses so go ahead and make sure to search first if your course is of priority course of the DOST. Meaning to say the first requirement aside from being a regular second year student is that your course is included in the list of priority courses of the DOST provided by them. Second, the second condition for those who want to apply is that their general weight average is of 83% so they have provided the percentage or it's equivalent mean to say to some schools 83% or lower may be with no conditional or failing mark like INC failing grade automatically if you have INC or I, I mean sorry automatically if you have a failing grade before you are disqualified from this scholarship must have no failing grade from first semester of first year until the first semester of second year in college. Of course, the third requirement would be you are of natural born Filipino citizen. So this DOS JLS scholarship is therefore only for Filipino citizens. Or of course, like other scholarships, you must be of or have a more good moral character and in good health. Five may have applied for or taken undergraduate scholarship examination but did not qualify. Mean to say, kagaya ko, if you have applied for undergraduate scholarship but somehow you did not make it, 
you can still be an applicant for this scholarship. Six, may have qualified for the undergraduate scholarship. So for those who have qualified, however, but they did not avail that scholarship, yes, you can still have, you can still apply for this scholarship. So those are the basic requirements for the applicants in order for you to be qualified of this applica application. So if you have those six things and check, 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 therefore, you can apply for this DOST JLSS scholarship. When is the period of the DOST JLSS? Actually, it started last March of 2024 and the end is this month, May 31, 2024. And the examination period us, as of now is July 28. So now that you know whether you are qualified to become a scholar or not of this said scholarship, how can I apply for this scholarship? In my experience, until now, it's actually announced that this scholarship can be applied through online. Meaning to say, there is a link provided for their website wherein you can apply through their website or system. And then a list of requirements are provided to you. What do you need in order for you to be part of that website or have an account for that website? First, you need an updated email that is active. Second, a working number because these two are important kasi dito sila nagsasend ng news, information, and such. And for the working mobile number because they also need this in case they need to contact you. Next, regarding the requirements. So what are the following requirements? Actually, you don't have to worry because once you have created a website account or an account on their website, the list of the requirements will be provided by you. Some of which like certification of good moral character, certificate of good health, certificate of program of study and year level, and such. So, I don't think I can further discuss to you this, but make sure if you have any question about like saan makakuha ng good moral character, good health, or certificate of program of study and year level, you can go ahead and comment down below. I'll try my best to answer them since I myself have experience applying and actually is a DOST JLS scholar as of now. You can go ahead and click this link and the complete list of requirements will be provided there for you. Also, make sure to read instructions properly regarding the filling out of the information, what kind of documents you need because these documents are very vital and since it's online, it would really take time for the DOST to reply to your inquiries or to some changes. Make sure that you always check those informations and the type of documents if they are correct. Huh? And to make sure you always follow their instructions. Here's a tip from me to you. Go on ahead and search in Twitter, Facebook, and Reddit for the OSC JLSS materials. These materials, people or scholars would have compiled lists of free materials for the scholars or applicants to use. Second, YouTube videos is very videos are very helpful on my experience. And third, make sure to use the materials or module given by the DOST themselves. So those are a few tips. But if you want further information on how to prepare for this scholarship, make sure to comment down below and I might do just that.